Welcome to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. Hey, we're at Tripoli, Idaho. <laughs> we're at Tripoli, Idaho launch. We never fly high, but we brought two rockets. One to go 14,000, one to go 19,000. There's clouds. So, uh, Shane's got some stuff to fly. We're just gonna hang out and hope we get a chance to uh, at least fly one of these. Um, we got Bald Mom's Rock, the semi-extreme Dark Star, M1780. What's the sim to? Like 13,000? 13,500. And then uh, my 4 inch Punisher with another M2050 because I like the motor so much. I wanted to put it in a smaller rocket. She's supposed to go Mach 2 in like 19,000 feet, so if we get to fly it, there's not going to be very much paint left. Flying. Uh, Formula 75 with an I 500. That's a good motor. It's yeah. so loud. And then the Pro Series Nike Smokes. Yep. Actually, I, can, I guess I could show them the repair I did. My nice uh, handiwork on my fin. Oh, yeah. All right, so if you've been watching for a minute, you might have seen last year at Airfest. I flew this on a, or the year before Airfest. No, it was last year. I flew this on an L1040, and the tip of the nose cone hit the fin and chipped the fiberglass pretty bad. So I ended up using a bunch of epoxy and a bunch of layers of white primer. You can see this looks bad now, but it doesn't matter. Um, but that's nice and sealed up now. The fin's a weird shape, kind of bothers me, but this rocket somehow is already beat after two flights, so I'm not that worried about it. But uh, I was going to repaint the fin can, and then I remembered it's going Mach 2, so most of this paint's going to come off anyway. Um, it'll probably come off the nose. I hope it does what Taylor's did, because his when he went Mach 2 with his 4-inch Punisher, the paint around the shape of the rail button like burned off and made a teardrop shape. <laughs> right. I was like, that's so cool. So yeah, hopefully we get a chance. So if everyone could keep an eye on this, stand up and look at it. If we for some reason have one of the motors not ignite, it might do some unstable flying. And so just be ready for that. Uh, that probably won't happen though, so. We're gonna be going in five, four, three, Two, one. Three inches in diameter, 48 inches tall. It'll be going up on an I-500 Blue Thunder. So this is going to be a real fast launch. It'll be nice and loud. This one also has a chute release for the main at 800 feet. And this is a contender for the pumpkin launching contest. He has a mini pumpkin retained within the nose cup. So we're going to go to Pat B yeah. in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Got the right color. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, it's fine. Oh. oh. What was that? 2,700 feet, so if everyone could keep an eye on it, if that way we can be able to find it, that would be really helpful. <laughs> All right. So Pat B1 is going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, now we're going to move over to pad B2, where Rex Merritt has his Scott Binder Thor, 4 inches in diameter, 7 feet tall, going up on an Aerotech J415 white. This has a Stratologger S1, or SL100 and an RRC3 on board, with the main set for 700 feet. Expecting an altitude of about 6,800 feet. Pad B2, going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Going on an E23. This is a bad idea. Yeah. So, Alright. Pad D4 is going to be going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 75. This is that I500 that didn't quite want to go. This time hopefully we'll be able to get it moving. This has a shoot release to, set, or to open the main at 800 feet, and this is also a contender for the pumpkin contest, so there is one pumpkin inside the nose cone. Alright, we're going to go out to... A lot of people. A lot of dead people. Are you 1B2? Yeah. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, wow. There we go. 
Ryan and Braden Carlson's Bald Mom's Rock. It's a wild man extreme dark star, four inches in diameter, eight feet tall, going on an Aerotech M1780 New Thunder. They're expecting about 13,500 feet. Wow. And pad C1 will be going in five, four, three, two, one. There it is. 12,905 feet. Finally, five digits for the old dark star. I got I got to check on my phone and see how far out we are, but it went real far. All right, I think that might be Terry out there. So it landed 3.4 miles from the launch site. So it went a mile further out than it went up. That was not the <laughs> 56.3 inches tall, going up on an Aerotech H219 Blue Thunder, expecting about 1,800 feet, and this is an L1 certification attempt. All right, so we're going to go to pad B1. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Good food. And we'll parachute. Going up on an Aerotech G76 to about 2,500 feet. Pad B2, be going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh. I guess fit the igniter. We'll have to recycle that one. This is his level three certification flight. Yeah, we got clear skies just in time. It's four inches in diameter, 97 inches tall, weighing in at 27 pounds. It'll be going up today on an Aerotech M1500 Mojave Green. It's got an easy, two easy minis on board for deployment and a tele-GPS tracker. The main is expected at 1,000 feet and apogee should be around 15,000 feet. So this is the purple and white rocket it's all the way out there on pad C1. Terry, are you ready? Ready. All right, let's do this. We're going to go pad C1 in five, four, three, two, one. So they're doing a competition at this launch here, um, pumpkin chunking. So whoever gets the highest altitude for a pumpkin, which right now I believe Kelsey has, yeah. uh, is the winner. However, the more pumpkins you have, for every pumpkin you get points per foot of altitude. So right, if this setup, I'll have three times the altitude. And Kelsey right now is in the lead. He flew 5,000 feet with four pumpkins in his rocket. So now we're gonna fly 18,000 feet with three pumpkins <laughs> in my rocket and really show them what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Just. <laughs> the non-passive B-roll. It's just a little harder on the paint. Yeah, let's, but not like the paint's a much of a concern with this rocket. That's like even more sturdy than yours was. Yeah. Wild Man Punisher, four inches in diameter, five feet long, weighing 18 pounds. All right, we lost you. We lost you. All right. <laughs> okay. Pad C2, 
one. Braden Carlson has his Wild Man Ghost Rider, four inches in diameter, five feet long, weighs 18 pounds, and is going on an M2050, which is a propellant X. On board, there are three pumpkins, so this is a contender for the pumpkin launching contest. And the, he's expecting about 19,000 feet with the main set for 1,000. And I believe you said this is hopefully going to be your first Mach 2 flight? Yeah. All right. Hopefully the ugly paint comes off. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be a good flight, everybody. It's gonna be fast and it's gonna go hard. All right. We have continuity on pad C1. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we, we had a bit of an interesting situation out here. So there's like seven police officers out here at the moment. So we weren't sure if we could go uh, looking for my rocket. Basically, we're just going to try and get to the top of the hill and see if there's any chance of that tracker survived. Yeah. Damn, I'm going to have to buy another one of those probably. Oh. Sheesh. Are the receivers cheap at least? Transmitter. Yeah, transmitter. I mean, they're still 100 bucks. They're not ah, 400 like that, but... Yeah. That's a uh, two altimeter, is a fifty-one twenty case, and a tracker in the ground out there. Yeah, one of those altimeters being gold. Yeah, a straddle logger. Yeah, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, that's uh, rocket number two gone. That one hurt a little bit more because uh, I had the club case in there. So I'll be buying Tripoli, Idaho, a new uh, 755120 case. I don't expect you guys to pay for my mistakes, but now is a great time for me to plug uh, the merch at rocketvlogs.com or the Patreon at patreon.com slash rocketvlogs. Um, probably going to take a break from the high altitude stuff for a little bit. Um, but we got some cool projects and stuff coming up, so... We go back to the flight line. Bald Mom's Rock flew though, that was cool. First time it finally broke over 10. So that's cool. Yeah, it is. Sorry, I didn't really do any sort of ending for that video out at the rocket launch, but things got a little hectic. Um, my dad and I found a guy that was basically on the last string of his life in his truck in the middle of the desert. We called the police and the police told us to stay away from him because he was the subject of another call and evidently they were trying to find him. That's all the information I have on that story. But uh, he was alive when they took him away, so it's a good thing we called him we did. Uh, we lost another rocket, but in the light of that event especially, it sure makes uh, losing a rocket feel a little uh, minuscule in the grand scheme of things. It is unfortunate, but uh, these things sort of happen. So. That was the last we saw of Ghost Rider, the 4-inch Punisher, and unfortunately it was the last we saw of the Tripoli Idaho Club Shared 5120 case. So, 
I'll be buying Triple Idaho a nice shiny new one. Yeah, a little bit of an expensive day, but again, it happens. Um, we still got other projects, and it's not like I don't have other rockets to fly after losing that one, so it does suck to lose it, but that is just how rocketry goes from time to time. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. We're getting very close to 10,000 subscribers, and I actually might have, even by this time, cracked a million views on the... Uh, fails compilation video which is the first video I've ever had hit a million views before so I want to thank you guys all for your support and thank you all for watching if you're not subscribed please do hit the subscribe button it's absolutely free and uh, it'll alert you every time I upload a video especially if you hit the little bell thing too I know it's all the typical YouTube stuff to be saying at the end if you hit the like button it actually helps out a lot more than you could possibly know so hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, I'll be going down to Tripoli, Vegas this coming weekend, and uh, I won't be flying anything, but um, we're finishing painting the iris, so you'll be seeing that video beforehand. Dave and Jay from Lock Precision will be at the Tripoli, Vegas launch, so I wanted to take the iris down there and at least have it look presentable, even though I don't have anything to fly. I will be at Rockstock in November in uh, California at Lucerne Dry Lake as well. So, if you want to help support the channel, check out patreon.com slash rocketvlogs or uh, rocketvlogs.com to buy the merch. Um, but, if you're not going to do any of that, I'm just glad you were here. Otherwise, once again, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.